The contents of these words, given by God and Jesus through the chairman of Shinchanji Church of Jesus, are written according to the Bible with the purpose of benefiting the public for the church's and the members' knowledge regarding faith. These contents are also written according to Jesus' words to let our yes be yes and our no, no, so that the churches and the members can carry on in true faith. Physical Marriage and Spiritual Marriage Physical Marriage The marriage of Adam and Eve in Genesis 2, 20-24 is a marriage between two bodies. God chose them and joined them together. When Jesus mentioned marriage, he said that no one can separate what God has joined together. Anyone who causes them to separate must not believe in God, Jesus, or their words. Spiritual Marriage God led the Israelites out of Egypt to the land of Canaan and said, They broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them. This scripture shows us that God is the husband and the Israelites were his bride. God prophesied through Hosea when he said, I will betroth you to me forever. That is why God came to Jesus and why Jesus said that he and the Father were one. This is what Paul meant when he said, The Jerusalem above is free, and she is our mother. Jerusalem here refers to Jesus. Paul also referred to the unity of God's Spirit with our spirit as a marriage. God was able to come to Jesus because Jesus had no sin. God left men because of their sins. God cannot be with sinners. God sent Jesus to resolve the problem of sin by bearing the cross. Thus, there are two reasons for bearing the cross to resolve the problem of sin, and to allow the Spirit to unite with our flesh. These two things are promised in many places in the Bible. This is the marriage between the Spirit and flesh in the New Testament.